Gmail and Yahoo have announced changes requiring you to add a DMARC record, among other new setups, to your domain before February 1st of 2024. Only if you wish to continue sending emails from a branded email address, of course. Are you unsure about where to start with setting up all the new Yahoo and Gmail security protocols for your Klaviyo account? I get it, and that's one of the most pressing questions I've received from my clients and in my inbox lately. In this video, I'll give you some clarity on what are the updates and what do you need to do in order to comply with them. Let's go. DMARC records, domain-based message authentication, reporting, and conformance, or DMARC for short, is an email authentication protocol. It is designed to give email domain owners the ability to protect their domain from unauthorized use, commonly known as email spoofing. Without DMARC, hackers and other malicious users can impersonate messages, making it appear as though they come from your organization or domain. And we don't want that to happen. So as a first step, let's add a DMARC record to our domain. Let's move over to my screen and I'll share with you the exact steps we'll do together. All right, guys, so as for the first step, what we'll need to do is create the DMARC record that we'll later paste inside of our site hosting platform, either name chip, like in my example, or Google domains, um, GoDaddy. So whatever you bought your domain is the platform that hosts it for you, right? You're paying them on a monthly basis, so you should know that. Uh, but if you don't, just ask your web developer or anybody that is in charge of your website. So I'm gonna use some recommended settings. Uh, so feel free to, you know, use my settings or custom them based on what you need for your domain, okay? So let's get started. Um, first thing first, we'll need a, an email address associated with your domain where you'll have your report email sent to, right? So they're not gonna actually send anything, it's just an email address that will hold the DMARC record, if that makes sense, okay? So it could be support at your domain.com or info at your domain.com or simply your actual website, um, your actual, sorry, um, user, your email address, right, associated with your domain. So this is my email address. This is what I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna leave everything as is and click on generate DMARC record. Then it's gonna spit this line of code, this line of text, which I'm gonna copy, okay? Then I'm gonna go to my domain backend I'm gonna go and find my domain, click on manage, and I'm gonna find the DNS record. So here it is right here, advanced DNS. And here we wanna click on add new record. And the instructions are right here as for the type, the host, value, etc. okay? So the type, supposed to be a TXT record. The host is underscore DMARC and of course the value which we copy to clipboard and you're gonna put it right here okay then you're gonna hit save changes then as a last step what we'll need to do is go to this website okay I'm gonna leave all the links to all the sites that I mentioned in the description of this video so you have easy access to everything simply just input your sites your domain name right so in my example is savio.agency and hit the DMARC lookup, okay? This might take up to 48 hours, so don't get frustrated if you don't see, you know, the DMARC records um, present, right? It might just show you that it's, there's no DMARC record found, which is fine. Just revert back to the step within 24 hours or 48 hours and check again. Okay, here's what it should look like after you have the DMARC record updated. And that's it guys, that's how you set up your DMARC record. To make life easy, I'm gonna attach some guides on how to set up a DMARC record on different site hosting platforms down below. Now, we're not done yet. This was one part out of our Yahoo and Gmail new security protocol. The next step is to set up a dedicated sending domain, something we've been doing for quite some time now for our managed clients here at our agency. Link to watch it is gonna wait for you down below. And I'll leave you with a checklist right here so you can take a quick screenshot of it. Simply follow the steps and it should be good to go. That's it for this video, guys. 
If you'd like to learn more about scaling your business with email and SMS marketing, check out my channel. We upload free tutorial videos just like this one on a weekly basis. And if you have any questions, drop us a quick comment down below.